Okay guys, is 1080p still a thing in sim racing these days? A lot of people will be put off by 1080p and with 1440 and 4K now out there, they'll say, oh, I'm not even going to cons consider it. It'll be too blocky, too pixely, just not even, not even consider it. Okay, well, here's maybe some reasons why you should. Let's take things back to basics, shall we? Everyone's got a certain amount of graphical power to spend, okay, depending on your GPU. If you've got a 3090, okay, you can spend as, as many points as you want, basically. You've got, you can have probably triple 4K, okay, still run a decent kind of detail level and still get decent frame rates, okay. But for everyone else, we've got to balance these things, okay. So those three things are resolution, okay, frame rates, and game detail level, okay. And with these three things combined, which is like your total graphics amount of points that you have to spend, okay? So you've got to balance these three things however you want to spend them, okay? However you want to balance it, that's up to you, okay? So how much of a hit is 1440 over 1080p, for instance, okay? Now, 1080p has to, if you've got triples, okay, six and a half million pixels. Okay, six and a half million pixels we are currently displaying with the 1080p. With 1440, that's going to jump up to 10 million. Okay, that's a big old jump. Okay, and that does not come for free. Okay, you are not just bumping up to 1440 and happy days, still running the same detail level and still getting the same frame rates. Okay, so let's take my system for example, okay, so I've got a 1080 Ti, okay, uh, 10700K water-cooled CPU, which is overclocked, okay. Now, I can run these triple 1080p monitors fairly comfortably, okay. I get my 144 hertz, right, so I get about 144 frames per second, uh, g syncs so it all kind of is nice, and it's all nice and smooth, okay. But if I uncap the frame rate, I'm still only getting about 160 okay so there's not a huge amount of headroom there and at the start of races with like 40 other cars it may even drop below that 144 you know it drops down to about 120 ish okay so it's not if i was to bump up to 1440 i probably wouldn't better get that frame rate i would have it would come down below that 144 level okay so that's something you need to think about really when it comes to deciding what type of monitors to get okay now you might not want 144 hertz okay you might be perfectly happy with 75 okay and if you are that's great okay that's going to save you pretty much half your processing power here you know, half your graphical power okay because you know 75 is ru roughly half of 1.4 okay so you've basically got twice as many graphical points to spend and if you want to spend it on high resolution great you go for that me personally I just prefer a really super smooth 144 hertz. It's just, for me personally, that's just what I like. I like it to be as smooth as possible, okay? And the resolution, honestly, coming back to 1080 from 1440, at first it was a little bit, oh, I'm not sure about this. The cars don't, the, you know, the other people's cars don't look very good. When you're kind of sat on the grid looking around, things don't look great. But honestly, once you're driving, absolutely fine. You, I would not. I mean, I would know the difference, but it just it doesn't affect my enjoyment in the slightest. It just it just doesn't. I, it's not something that registers at all. So, me personally, 1080p, I think it's still a great option. Okay, and on top of the the benefit of basically, if we either be able to run higher detail levels or higher frame rates, you've got. The, you know you're going to save yourself tons of money okay because you know take these monitors for instance okay aoc's uh g2's 27 inch ones okay they one millimeter response time 144 hertz and the g-sync okay and 200 pounds i mean you're not going to get a 1440p monitor with that kind of spec for that money you, you're just not Okay, so 
know, for, for people on a budget, okay, don't think that 1080p is not an option. It is, okay? It is an option. And if you're on a budget and you're on a budget for a graphics card, wise, you know, you can't afford the best graphics card in the world. Okay, so you're like, oh, I could go for a single 1440 or a triple 1080. Oh, but I don't want to do that because 1080 would look shit. Honestly, it's fine. <laughs> Honestly, triple 1080 is way better than single 1440. Obviously, again, you're going to have to turn down graphic settings or you're going to get lower frame rates, okay? Because you're pushing a lot more pixels with a triple uh, 1080 than you would with a single 1440. But it's, it's also much better, okay? I'll just throw that out there. So really, it, it depends on you, okay? But 1080p is an option. If you're super sensitive to resolution and you want a nice pretty picture, then take the hit on the frame rates instead, okay? Run lower frame rates and get a nice pretty picture, okay? If you want it super smooth, okay, because you're interested in literally every single tenth and you want super smooth frame rates, then 1080p is fine. It is a perfectly good option okay so you know plus you're going to say you have lost of money so that's the other kind of big factor really isn't it it's it's the money and the super smooth frame rates and those are the big reasons why 1080p is still an option now obviously i can't really show you the pixel density or anything like that and the only other thing i'd say is if you're having the monitor super close to you so this is just behind my wheelbase I still get a really good field, field of view. You know, when I'm sat here, I can't see anything apart from monitor, okay? But if you wanted it right behind your wheel, that's when you might start noticing pixels more and you might then want to go to 1440. I mean, the eye strain would be pretty intense if it is that close, but a lot of people do do that, okay? Sorry, I keep hitting the mic. I do apologize for that. But these are the things you have to consider, okay? But don't write 1080p off straight away okay just because it's slightly older or whatever your your eyes will adjust to it and it will just seem normal and it's honestly it's absolutely fine okay so thanks for watching guys I hope that's helped you maybe decide whether 1080p is for you or not um i've got plenty of videos in the pipeline so i'm going to do a comparison between ultra wides triples and vr since i've now done all three so i'm going to do a little comparison and again find out what's what could be right for you because there's no one perfect solution for everyone okay there's always there's, there's always something for everyone okay um got a few other videos in the works a uh, video looking at the culture of vr and why it's kind of a bit of a coat when it comes to that sort of stuff so that that's gonna be an, an interesting video um most people, oh yeah, I, do, I might do a little sim rig tour as well at some point because obviously all this is quite new Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.